In this problem, we'll look at elevators. At 2.38, Sergei entered an elevator on the 34th floor of the Regency Hotel. At 2.40, he stepped off at the 5th floor. We're first asked to find the elevator's average rate of travel in number of floors per minute. Now the rate of travel is in floors per minute. The number of floors that are traveled would be in the numerator. The number of minutes traveled would be in the denominator. If he got on the floor, on the elevator on the 34th floor and got off at the 5th floor, he traveled 34 minus 5 floors or 29 floors. If he got on at 238 and got off at 240, he traveled for 2 minutes. So his rate would be 29 floors in 2 minutes or if we divide 29 by 2, we get 14.5 and the unit would be floors per minute. We're also going to be asked to find the elevator's average rate of travel in seconds per floor. Now again, let's look at the units first. The rate is in seconds that'll be in the numerator, per floor, that'll be in the denominator. Well, if we can start with, we know from the first part that he traveled 29 floors. How many seconds did he travel? Well, if he traveled for two minutes, which we know from before, two minutes, each minute is 60 seconds, so he would have traveled for two times 60 seconds or 120 seconds. So his rate in seconds per floor would be 120 seconds per 29 floors. That would give us 120 over 29 seconds per floor or if we write that as a mixed numeral we would get 4 and 4 over 29, and the rate would be, the unit would be seconds per floor, and that would be the average rate of travel in seconds per floor.